Hey, welcome back everybody. Music with Todd Ledbetter. I'm so glad you're here. We're hitting up some more porcupine tree. I'm going to go back a number of years. I'm not going back all the ways. Um, I kind of sampled a little bit of the very first album. I don't think I'm ready for that yet. I think um, from what I can remember, it seems like a lot of people um, really started liking his music um, right around Stupid Dreams, Stupid Dream. I could be wrong. They could possibly like stuff before that. Um, there was quite a few albums before that. But Stupid Dream is 1999, and I think his first release was 1991. Um, and uh, I didn't. I, I sampled a few songs, and it just reminded me of 1991, and I didn't want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> particularly uh, so it, it seems like I remember a lot of people saying stupid dream is where people really started to dig where he was going with the sound so that's what we're gonna do well, we're gonna go all the ways pretty far back not all the ways uh, but uh, check out stupid dream we're gonna start right at the top we're gonna start at number one the very first song called even less um, and feel free to let me know what you think about uh, about this or about my my uh, assumptions or whatever about stupid dream and where to start you know um, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna go here and we could, we could switch it up we can do other albums too uh, but let me know what you think um, but let's get right into stupid dreams and uh, get that going the song is even less here we go It already sounds better to me than what the 1991 album sounded, his first album sounded. <laughs> she likes it.
Well, stupid dream. Was that in his dream? I don't know. <clears throat> I like that. I have to say, that was good. I enjoyed that thoroughly. That was uh, the porcupine tree I wanted to hear. Um, definitely. I like that a lot. Um, man, I don't mean to offend anybody by not wanting to start back at the very first album or anything in between this one and the first one. Uh, cause I don't know what is, I don't know what else is in between. I just checked out the very first album and I was like, mm, no, nah, it sounded like my band in 1991. Uh, so I, you know, I'll explore all, there'll be a time for that. There will be a time for that. But, um, I like my decision. Stupid dream. That was really good. Um, had the elements I wanted to hear from him, you know, it has the uh, the ethereal floaty sound, you know, his, his beautiful melodies, uh, his wonderful lead guitar work there, and then the the crunch, you know, uh, and then also the sound effects, even uh, one one zero five zero zero two six. That was my favorite part. I loved it. I love that part. It was so good. Was that Steven? I'm being silly. All right. Um, yeah, I really like that though. That was super cool. I think I'm going to like this album already. Uh, if it continues in, in, uh, this quality and this vein, I'm all in so far, so far. Let me know what you think though. Um, is this, uh, kind of accurate? I mean, is this kind of like the real launching point for porcupine tree? Um, or, is there good stuff before this too? I'm sure there's got to be something before this. Um, there's like so much. Stupid Dreams was 89. I mean, there's literally one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight albums before that. Eight albums. On the Sunday of Life was the first one. Star Die, Up the Downstairs. Staircase Infinity, Sky Moves, I don't know, uh, Sideways, Signify, and Coma Divine, and Metano Metanoa in 98. I don't know, I'm kind of being drawn to Coma Divine and Metanoa, but I don't know what they sound like. I don't know, I'm being drawn there. But anyways, I like Stupid Dream. That was cool. Um, and that song we just heard was really cool. Um, the called Even Less. So uh, that has, oh, that looks like it's the most popular song on the album. And then there's uh, Piano Lessons is next. And then Stupid Dream itself doesn't have any views showing on this thing. So I'm not sure what to deal is with that. But um, this is a pretty long album. It's got 12 songs on it, and but it's only an hour. So nothing super long and epic as far as songs go but a lot of songs that's 12 songs is a lot for an album all right well we started it now we got to finish it right i say right all right guys well hey meet me down in the comments let you let me know what you think if i'm am i on the right track with stupid dream it seems like i remember people liking it and kind of saying this is where they really started getting into uh his music and I, i'm repeating myself now but uh, make sure you uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed. If you've uh, been here a few times and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead, man. Click the button. Uh, we want you to uh, enjoy the music just as much as we do. And we might as well just send it right to your uh, notification box. And uh, 
you don't have to look for it. It'll just show up for you. And also check out uh, other ways you can help the channel down below in the description. There's all kinds of stuff. Um, there's Venmo and there's PayPal. There's my Patreon, which I'm doing a whole other thing over there. You can join over there if you like. Um, I also have a coffee brand if you want to uh, partake in some delicious coffee. I also sell solar panels, believe it or not. And I have a link to uh, the solar panel company that I represent. And they great deals. Uh, on solar panel you can buy used ones for fifty dollars for like a 250 watt solar panel and you can get it shipped right to you on a pallet you can get you can get you know 50 of them shipped to you anyways a little commercial there um you know everybody's trying to make money right uh hey i appreciate you guys and, and indulging me and i'm really having a great time with the music and learning and uh exploring all this music i've never heard uh believe it or not i i I'm brand new to uh, Porcupine Tree, and I've never heard this album. Uh, I've, I'm getting a lot under my belt. Uh, a few albums now uh, I've gone through, and also some Stephen Wilson stuff too, and other side projects. So it's been really exciting to explore with him. If you didn't know, I kind of discovered Stephen Wilson on my own a couple, few months ago, and uh, and then sort of led into. <laughs> all of all of the everything else he does you know you once you like somebody you start discovering all the other things they do so pretty cool all right so i've been yammering a lot lately it's late it's actually in the evening for me and i usually do morning sessions so uh let's uh see if we can uh, get to bed early tonight yeah. all right thank you guys i appreciate you all so much you guys have a wonderful wonderful day and we'll talk to you later see you down in the comments Bye bye